Thanks. Check. Still not here, Mum. Any minute now, I'll just stay there. Bring it in, Bab. We can handle this, Rose. One for you, one for Grampy. Take it to him, Bab. I'll shut the door. Watch some swearing in here. Oh, that's gonna chafe. Oh, you fuckers, how much do you want from me? You fucking what? Sounds like it's someone's time of the month. Don't worry. <laughs> between me and Callum is fading. There was magic. Sure, in the early days, for our three-day anniversary, he gave me his jumper so I could smell him if I missed him. Now I feel aroused whenever I smell drift. Geez, your magic threshold is low. But then again, you do believe that Dynamo has actual magic powers. One day the world will see the truth about Dynamo, that he's a goddamn warlock and must be stopped. Right. As of midday, we're at war with the gas company. I'm Uncle Sam, and I want you. No, thanks, Mum. I'm going to watch Nymphomaniac, then Nymphomaniac 2. I want to mull over Callum whilst trying to decide if I'm a Nymphomaniac or not. No can do, Jermaine. You're an inescapable part of this family, and you're going to bag up some old tat and flog it at the car boot. You get me? Whoa! Now look here, Mum. I basically cost you nothing. I illegally download all my entertainment from torrent sites. Well, you don't download gas, do you, Jermaine? Mrs. Let's whack the thermostat up a notch. Too much for you to put on a frigging jumper, isn't it? Do you have any idea how hard it is to find fashionable knitwear? Put me in a jumper and I turn into the bulkinator. Not a good look, Mum. You're coming too, Yoko. I can't have you lying here all day, Petal. You're going a bit gorillas in the mist. Energy conservation is good for the planet. I look like in the bath after Grumpy yesterday. Yeah, we all know he blows the nose into his hands when he's in there. That is sacrifice. Oh, I thought that was bath oil. That's not bath oil, Yoko. Okay? That's Grumpy oil. Oh. Mum, I love him. There you are. If you can tell me his name, you can keep him. Uh, there you go, old non-specific bear. Into the bag. Captain Sparkle. Fine, you've saved him. Uh, I don't know any hesitations, deviations or repetitions, but he's being liquidised. All right, Dad, you coming to the car boot? I just better news still. I do, I'm being shoved into a big black bin liner by an irascible woman. Your mother's filing for divorce. Oh, Dad. Stay. Oh, that's my favourite. If it makes you feel any better, I'm in an abusive relationship too, with the gas company. We take this shit because we cried what they're offering. For you, it's gas. For me, it was overcooked broccoli and cheeky afternooners. Do you want some Valerian tea? I've got some in if you fancy it. <laughs> no, you don't, Dad. I crossed that in May. Mr. Selfridge was heavy this year. I'll come to the car boat. Looking at the nicky nacky news might be just what I need to raise my spirits. Only problem is I can't fit you and all this shit in the car. I'll borrow your mum's car. It's the first Saturday of the month. She'll be in Leinster having a feed plant. Oh, Mrs. Will will be carving her a new foot out of solid hoof. What say I sneak one last go in Old Faithful for old time's sake? <laughs> Lady Rind. He's so last month. Not that lumpy period I had. He's just a love clot now. Hi. You can park in my uh, special milk area. Come closer, Pet. What are you only doing this, Pam? That's the gate. That's a car. Smell you later, boomers. I'm scared. Don't worry, Yaka. We'll be okay. Oh, Ginge! Any space there, that way? I don't know. Why don't you draw a room and have a look? You're the one in a car. Bob him, please. Thank you. Yaka, car! <laughs> right, we are going to have to go back to basics. <laughs> Right, 
kids. You get lost. I'm the oldest, fattest nanny you can stick with her. She won't be moving fast or far, so I'll be able to find you. Oh, I do love a car boat. Takes me right back to my festival days. I was living. People tripping so hard they were eating their own clothes. Happy times. I think I'll do a circuit dump. See who's on the pyramid stage. I'll well, take it easy, Dad. You're probably in shock. You just had a massive bitch amputated. Don't oh, worry, kid. I drive on emotional turmoil. No, you don't, Dad. You drive on gammon, Aldi, Stout and Cracker Wait, Mike, Mum, can I take five? I want to find Callum and make him do a series of emotional and physical challenges to impress me. You have to get five to take five, Jermaine. It's like national insurance. Besides, I've got plans for you. All right, Dad. And here she is now. Catherine, Germany. Your cousin's got a first painting store. Like a little Alan Sugar she is. And you're going to help her. Learn a trade. Face painting is not a trade, Mum. Making artisanal cupcakes is a trade. Selling crochet boot cups on Etsy is a trade. Having epic thigh brow is a trade. The day you make a frigging cupcake, I'll concede your point. But for now, here's your snother room. I knew you were a jazz fan. You seen the way you walk? Actually, I can't stand jazz. Horrible din. But I do love the art. Miles Davis, man. I always find a couple when I'm tatting around car boots. On a good day, I average five miles per hour. I'm with you, darling. These are a few of my favourite pieces. I'll be sad when they're going, but time moves on. I'll get you. If you love something, set it free. Wise man, that's Dink. Maybe a couple of times, but then who isn't? Oh, totally, Dink. Actually, I've got another line of business if you might be interested in a little extra something. I am always interested in a little extra something. Then step into your boardroom. Pretend I'm a car. Direct me. Stop being a car. I don't like you. The cars won't stop you if I direct me. I don't want to. Come on. Hug. 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 Direct me. No. I don't like it, Aretha. That was good. Oh, no car. You found your anger. Anger is a fuel. Use it. Back up. We're talking. So, girls want butterflies or else are from Frozen, which is basically just painting their lips blue. All these want tigers or Spider Man. To be fair, the parents don't really care what it looks like. They just need somewhere to dump their kids while they go to the meat auction. Don't worry, Kathy. I think I know how to paint a face. I've been practicing contouring on Yoko for a month. I made her look exactly like a Kardashian. It was Bob Kardashian, but I can only work with the underlying bone structure. Blue lips and Spider Man's. Jamal, keep it simple. On this one. So, child, what is your face painting vision? With the floor, Elsa Bob. Elsa, please. Why? What's so fast? I need to work out your face shape first, see what we're working with. Yep, as I suspected, you have a round face. I'm not going to lie to you, kid, that's going to make life hard. Still, with a little shaving, maybe we can carve out some features. <laughs> He was my best friend. Two pounds, please. Tell you what, you keep him, darling. Good luck to you. Such a brave girl. Aye, aye. Back streets, back. You all right, Dad? I'll try and first, Stella. Oh. I'm letting your mum go. I'm letting it all go. You don't need her cluttering up your life like a fucked up photon. Exactly. And now, I got this. It's called Serpent. This is Grandpa's little helper. I bought it from a cool cat over on the jazz store. You can't buy weed at a car boot sale. It's a legal high, though. Legal. I could blow this in a policeman's face and he couldn't touch me. But it just get him out of vibe, open his heart to the universe and get on with his day. Well, let's make some tunes on, eh? Right, let's get this tat shifted, yeah? Ooh, that awesome.
Quiet. Stick another quid on the toggle, but... We've made 2,200 pounds. 2,200 pounds. You and me are going to have to sit down and do a little maths lesson tomorrow. Well, the new in front of Sesame Street just isn't doing it, is it, kid? Right. You can do this, young car. Where am I supposed to be parking, kid, eh? Think about that sea turtle with a straw stuck up its nose. How unjust that was. Park there, car man! See you later, cocker. See, young car. See what anger can do, eh? Hey? Isn't that what Darth Vader said to Luke? Darth Vader got a lot done, Yako. He got to Destiny twice. Oh, my God, you get one game. I'm on game. Well, I'm on number two. It was going great, so I directed the bed for him to a transit. Did you mind about it? He's on every stall, I think, main block, three stalls down from the man selling second-hand sex toys. Is your mum on your stall? Probably. Mummy's kind of everywhere. Oh, wait here, then. <laughs> your mum's gangster. That's Jermaine. She says that the last text I sent her was Adenine. What's Adenine mean? It sounds like toothpaste. Anodyne. She sent the text to her door, which is rich given she spent 45 minutes last night describing her dream eyebrows. Jermaine is so hard to please. No, she's not. She's an over adrenalized impotent. All Jermaine wants is something that might have happened on The Bachelor. Send her the lyrics to My Haunts by the Black Eyed Peas. She'll be happy. Sweet. He's so white. I do have lovely lady lumps. He is drunk of the junk in my trunk. Usually he just sends me a load of aubergine emoticons and the word brat, but this is different. He really gets me. I'm gonna send him a shot of my bra strap to reward him. Oh man, never send real skin pics. Would it be revenge porn, yeah? Send him a hand clam instead. Excuse me, or what? You know, a hand clam. A trick pic. A finger minch. Look. You see, that could be my cleavage on my bum. Wow, that is really effective, isn't it? I sent Lee a shot of my uncle's bald head last night and he thought it was my boob. I have to try this. Excuse me, can I do my answer now? Hey, kid, don't rush me. I'm working against a massive obstacle here. The obstacle being your face. So pipe down. How do you do a finger inch? Alright, you take this one, Yarko. Think about a pelican drowning in oil. Hi, Rita. Gainfully employed in the tertiary economy, I see. I'm, I'm conducting an informal survey on unofficial revenue streams. Cool. I'm looking for an aircon chair, a set of Churchill's war memoirs, and or a hot dog. So, should I not be horrible to this one? No, don't be horrible to this one, please. I'll see you in class. I warn you now, I'm going to grill you on the Chinese slogan. I'll be so ready. <laughs> I was my economics teacher. She's the most intelligent person I've ever met. She's really pretty too. Isn't she? Can't find that. It's a classic face. Would you like to be quick for it? Well then this economy doll face. Try again. Me fist it? Tell you what, you don't tickle my neck, it's not tickle yours. 375. Okay. Stella's got her group back, kid. I am operating on a higher plane. It's like I can see in their faces what they're willing to pay. You see her? She will give me 525 for that broken xylophone. Well, don't sell it to her then, the car boot whisperer. Oh. Actually, Dev, turns out I've got unfinished business. The serpents are welcome my deepest chakra. Time for the portalos, I think. No bug rolling them portalos, Dad. I had to wipe my eye down on the tights. Never fear, I have a plan. Your mum sent me a couple of ply this morning, remember? They're legal documents. You need to sign those, you sad sod. Mariah, customer. Sending her those livings was a musty move. She's taking things up a level. She sent me. She sent me. No, I don't know what she sent me, but it is hot. Thanks, Aretha. What should I send the next? I'm a bit busy. You might have to move Dr. Strangelove on your own. Right. Come on. Oh, 
Come on, Yanko. Think about how the emissions from that car are causing the polar ice cap to melt. Starving polar bears, Yanko. Polar bears. Hey, kid. How about I'll give you two quid? You wave me in and you don't tell your gaffer. Is that a bribe? Are you trying to bribe me? Yes, he is, Yanko. How do you feel about that? That's wrong, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, chill out, copper knob. It's cheap entry to a car, but not extraordinary rendition. I don't think I'm going to let you in. Sorry. Yeah, he's so right. I never am knowingly undersold. I think he's maybe just reading stuff off the side of the fan this afternoon. So, I've done elbow cleavage, toe gap, and finger joiner. What next? I'm running out of room. Oh, you could do some aerial action. Take it to the next level. Of course. Ear hole action. Jermaine, can I answer now? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're done. Oh, I didn't do you as else from the end. Turns out, I don't actually know what she looks like. Instead, I did you as someone better. I don't like it. What have you done to her face, man? She's a lady who's a little bit tailor, obviously. I mean, ideally she'd be wearing a moo and accessorised with a drunk Richard Burton, but you know, you can only work with what you've got. Mummy! Hey kid, what is your problem? Elizabeth Taylor is an icon! An icon! What a bitch. Ah, oh, God bless the car boat. Take any old shit on a trestle table and someone will buy it. And I thought there'd be demand for half a bag of cat litter, a single mole vote, and a back of mini fridge. Excuse me. Are you this girl's mother? I'm very happy about what she's done to my daughter's face. Uh, man, the real crime here is what you did to her face. You gave her that cheap. Uh, zip it, Jermaine. Let's work something out here, Bab. I want my money back. I see. Well, I'm sorry, Bab. But blackbuster customer service is what this country's all about. Doing a shitty job and charging up the wazoo for it is a basic human right. That's capitalism. So Welcome to Cameron's Britain, love. Well, I'm going to find security. This isn't over. Right, the unsolved tap. We're out of it. I don't need carbon security on my ass. What about Grumpy? Oh, don't worry about your old Grumpy. He's got 25 quid in loose change and a kilo of serpent. And he ain't too afraid to sleep in a bush. It'll be just standard. Crack quicker. Anyone not in the car in 10 seconds gets left behind. Oh, Grumpy, I'm sorry. Oh, don't do it to yourself, laddie. I'll just let out 35 years of pain in there, you get me? I'll find a bush and fire with you. Check it out. I'm live streaming this on Periscope. And someone's live streaming me, live streaming it. This is amazing. <laughs> we did that. No, Yoko. You did that. These are young tailbacks. Get in. We're leaving. Yoko, hey back. Hello. Hello. That was a great car boot, Mum. I've unlocked Callum's poetic side. Our relationship is on a whole new level now. You idiot. I told him to look up lyrics on the internet and send them to you, and it totally worked. I did a Solano de Bergerac on you. You bergerac me? Yeah. Classic Bergerac. Now I know it was you behind this whole thing. I'm even more of a bad. Jermaine, sure you say it was a joke. But I know the truth. You find me fascinating. Of course you do. You want in on the Jermaine party. I'll get that. I am a rich and meaty dish. Welcome to our relationship, Rita. <laughs> I'll give you my number if you fancy meeting up again. It's up to you. No pleasure. Okay. What happens if the car boot stays at the car boot? I can go with that. I tell you what. This bloody good stuff, this serpent. I'm tripping balls here. I can see a tiny sobbing Elizabeth Taylor over there. Being interviewed by a policeman. <laughs> I bloody love divorce. <laughs>
Tomorrow, Jimmy Carr is very busy. He's got to contain some wildcats as they get furtive in the Countdown Studio at 9. And then he's in with Chatty Man, new and big for Thursday nights at 10 with Ariana Grande too. But next to Night Gogglers, watch Dr. Thorne.